In his lecture titled, The Change Agenda, The Journey So Far, the minister maintained that the federal government under President Muhammad Buhari is determined to rid the country of corruption. This is undoubtedly one of the best platforms anyone can ask for, considering the pedigree of the members of the association and the high rating of NIPS itself. On the state of the nation's economy, the minister said it is heartwarming that policies being pursued is putting the economy in shape. The minister who chronicled the myriad of challenges the present administration met on ground expressed optimism that President Muhammad Buhari has exhibited a high sense of diligence in handling the problems for the overall good of Nigerians. Because unless we fight corruption to stand still, nothing else we do will yield positive results. It was corruption that prolonged the war against Boko Haram and dispatched many soldiers and civilians to their early groups. It was corruption that ensured that while oil was selling for over $100 per barrel, we had nothing to show for the windfall. It is because of corruption that even though our budget has increased from less than a trillion naira in 1999, to over 6 trillion in 2016, poverty has grown almost at the same rate. And it, together with NIPS, will partner with the federal government. There are abandoned research papers on the critical issue of religious insurgency. I must add that as government is winning the war against terrorism, the Ministry of Interior must urgently and proactively intervene in preventing and apprehending the increased cases of avoidable communal conflicts, as the case now in Agatu, as shown. In Jaws, Anthony Forson, NTA News.